few people have asked me what I do with demand barking or a bratty puppy. As one might know, this little puppy is very bratty and she's grabbing my clothes, jumping up on me and no, no, she'll start barking on cue. Thank you, Frenzy. <laughs> so how I work with her is it's a progress. It's not, it's a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. Um, she has gotten better. Uh, she's not great and she's gonna knock over the camera. <laughs> um, so when she was a puppy, she used to bark the entire time I would be getting meals ready for her. So I kept working with her on put, getting her into a down. Oh, my puppies are gonna run into me. Uh, getting her into a down and rewarding that because she wouldn't bark when she was in a down. And if she got up, I'd be like, oh, where's your down? Need you to down and she would lay down and I would give her a piece of food. And it systematically, we got that longer and longer to where she'd lay down and I'd give her a piece of kibble as I was putting everything together. Still working on the jumping, I'm trying, I don't reward it. Um, I Now that she's sitting nicely, I'm gonna reward that. Um, we, she does have some jumping issues. Um, something I have done when I let my dogs out of the run after I'm coming back from work or something, I'll carry a bowl, a metal bowl, and I'll just push the bowl all the way around me. And so I just create space, create space. So I can't get jumped on, they can't bite me. She likes to grab my clothes. And so I work with having a toy in my hand. She won't take the toy. I just switch it out. I keep pushing it in her face like it's, I'm just being really pushy. Like, if you're gonna do that to me, I'm gonna do this to you. And so she finally gets frustrated with me and she'll go away. Cause she'll like, I don't like that game. So that's works for her. Ideally, she would be a dog that would take the, tree, the toy from me and go run with the toy, but she doesn't do that. She just wants my attention, which is why she's demand barking or demanding that of me. Um, you can see in this video that I'm working and she's pawing at me, she's barking at me, she'll grab my shirt. Um, she's getting... <laughs> Frenzy, you're gonna pull my pants off. Frenzy, leave it. Leave it. Frenzy, leave it. Good girl. Thank you. Um, she's getting a little bit better with grabbing my shirt, not grabbing my shirt. Um, so I appreciate that. So I've just been working with her and grabbing it back from her and saying, no, that's not okay. You can't do that. And we, I just systematically, she still tries. There's no doubt that she still tries, um, but it's, it's better. She's not doing it as much. Good girl, very good girl. So now when she's being a good dog, I'm gonna praise that. So that's something I have been doing is giving her the love and attention when she's sitting here nicely and recognizing that that's not, that's not normal for her. <laughs> so something that she does a lot is demand bark. And that's a hard one. I'm extinguishing it slowly and systematically. I'm trying not to reward that. I turned away from her. I put my hands down. It was kind of a half-hearted attempt on hers, but I'm trying to not give in. I don't yell at her. Uh, I ignore her. If I, I have a gate in my house that I can put her in a different area than me, and she can go sit over there. So now she's not rewarded at all where she all of a sudden is not even in the same space as me and that frustrates her. I am not opposed to deterrence. Uh, the deterrent, I've, I've used two deterrents to keep her from barking or to, to make it uncomfortable, I guess I'll say from barking, is one, I have used a metal spoon and a bowl. Some people use a shaker can and it distracts them. It's like she starts barking and I, I would bang the, the bowl and then I'd put it down. And she'd be like, I don't like that noise. I'm going to stop barking. It took a little bit of time, but she was so obnoxious with her barking. That was the only way I could get her to listen is to have a noise that was a little bit louder than her. I, I don't use it anymore. Uh, I only needed it for a couple weeks and she was good uh, with me with that whole process of learning that she was, it was quiet when she was quiet. I also have used a citronella collar that uh, emits a spray when they bark and it makes it smelly. And so the, the, they learn pretty quickly that if they bark, a smell comes. And so they don't like that citronella, um, that citrus smell. So that has 
pretty well and I use that in the house. They're still working on it in the yard. Right, Frenzy? Down? Good. So that's something I do in the yard is I give her something to do. That's my biggest way that I get her to stop barking is I give her something to do. She's saying loud and clear that she's bored and she wants my attention to entertain her when she's barking. So a lot of times I'm working and I can't and I'll ignore her and I'll put her over here off. I'll put her in the other space. I used to give her bones, but then she started demanding for the bones. So this is a puppy that is uh, very clear about what she wants. I, I do put my, my hands over her mouth and she still, and you can hear her, she's naughty guys. I put my hands over her mouth and I tell her no, that's, that's not okay. So she wants my attention, so she's happy to come and if she's quiet, I'm gonna pet her. This is ultimately all she wants is my attention and my love. So if I give that to her and she's quiet, I'm successful and she's successful. Now, if she, if I stop petting her and she starts barking or jumping on me, I'm going to push her back. And I also do this. So she came around to the front because she knows my front is where the attention is. I put my back to her and she, she goes quiet. It does take a little bit of time. It's not immediate, but she realizes I'm not giving her that attention. And that's another, another tactic that I use. Um, and the, the other tactic I have used when I'm out and about and she's on a leash and she's super excited is to start working with her. I always have food, always, always have food with me. And I start doing a healing pattern or down or spin or give five and give 10. And then she's got something to do. Sit, she has my attention, but I'm making her work for it. Give me 10. No, not back up. Come here. Frenzy. Sit. Give me 10. Yeah, good girl. Good job, Chase. Mama Chase knows the 10, too. So I give her something off. I give her something to do. Not going to reward that jumping. Good girl. Good sit. So you kind of get my gist. I redirect into something else. I remove her from the situation. I'm not a big fan of the uh, of making more noise than she is. Um, I don't yell. Yelling does nothing. She just tries to meet me and yelling and yelling at me more. Um, but giving a, a few things to dis dissuade her from doing it, I have had to use with her because she's incredibly persistent. Um, but my goal is to not use those to be able to dissipate them out and take them out. Um, I don't, I no longer use noise with her. Um, I, I use a citronella collar to help the smell because that's, she knows that very much that if I can just show her the citronella collar, she's quiet. So I hope, there's also an ultrasonic, um, uh, there's also an ultrasonic, uh, mount that you can put in your house it, it emits ultrasonic uh, sound if you have one dog it might work i've heard mixed feelings or mixed mixed reviews of whether it works or not if you have multiple dogs it punishes everybody for one dog barking so i won't do that uh, not in my house when i only have one that's really quite quite the uh the the bad one <laughs> the naughty puppy um so I hope that helps in regard to demand barking. I try not to ever reward it. I try to push, put her into a space where she can be successful. Um, she has learned not to bark in the crate. Every once in a while she'll bark, but uh, for the most part, she does not bark while she's in her crate. So I appreciate that. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions on this. This is a hard topic. It is one that a lot of people struggle with. Um, I'm, I'm still struggling with it. She's nine months old and you know, she still barks and demand barks, but I'm working to diffuse it systematically and it has gotten better. She does not bark at me for mealtime. She does not bark at me in the house when I'm on my computer nearly as much as she used to. Um, she's not grabbing my clothes nearly as much as she used to. And it was just showing her what she needed to be doing, that that wasn't okay. Giving her something else to do. Hope this helps. Sorry for those of you who have demand barkers. It's best by far to nip it in the bud as soon as possible and start working with it the second you see it. So uh, happy training. 
and hopefully we all have quiet dogs.